The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the giants and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Ephesians 2.10 has much more for us to learn. For we are his creation, the new spiritual species created by the baptism of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. Having been created, alakeniketesis in Christ Jesus our Lord, which is in union with Christ forever, for good achievements, agathos, good of intrinsic value, which Lord God the Father has prepared in advance. Before creation, he designed his protocol plan that we should walk by means of them. Dear brethren, this passage mentions for us union with Christ, intrinsically good achievements we need to acquire, and third, walking by means of those good achievements. Dear brethren, union with Christ enables the church age believers to utilize God's power in the divine dynosphere. That power of God executes the protocol plan of God so that our Lord God Almighty himself is responsible for the spiritual achievements in the Christian's life. Therefore, many of the people should come to the point of realization it is the will of God that we should be in eternity past, God prepared in advance his protocol plan. And the divine dynosphere was the means of executing this plan. The believer makes good decisions, but good gets all the credit for the supernatural results. The believer's consistent positive volition in obeying the mandates of the divine dynosphere becomes spiritual momentum. Momentum which includes understanding and using invisible assets, gaining a grace perspective, Attaining successive stages of spiritual adulthood. All of these are intrinsically good achievements. But first, because God ordained them as integral parts of his protocol plan for the individual believer and second, the divine power achieves them. Christian service is one experience of this spiritual momentum. Christian service itself cannot be called intrinsically good because believers can perform acts of Christian service from true or false motives. Services can come from genuine love for God or though legalism or correction. It can even come from arrogance and self-promotion. This passage emphasizes that true service does not occur in a vacuum. It is not evaluated solely as overt visible activity, but is part of walking or living the Christian way of life. The believer lives the Christian life in or more precisely by means of the stages of spiritual growth that God's power achieves. Gaining spiritual momentum, which becomes a steady, vigorous Christian walk, implies a sequence that will not work in reverse order. A believer who attempts to advance himself spiritually through the works he performs is wasting his time and squandering his life. He is ignorant of God's protocol and ignorance of breeds arrogance. His motives is misdirected. He may sincerely want divine approbation, but Jesus is the only human being who ever deserves God's complete approval. Man's only entry to God is through Christ, according to the protocol plan set forth. The arrogant Christian power is merely human and therefore cannot produce growth. Spiritual progress does not occur. He runs in veins and toils in vain. Philippians 2.16 He may impress himself and other Christians with his production, but at the judgment seat of Christ, this believer's Christian service will be condemned and destroyed as dead works. Hebrews 6, 1, 9, 14, in comparison with 1 Corinthians 3, 11 through 15. Our Lord Jesus Christ as our school officer will eternally reward only believers whose service reflects spiritual growth, which is an intrinsically good achievement, and genuine Christian service is a result of spiritual growth of doctrine and a chance to apply Bible doctrine already assimilated. Christian production covers a wide range of activities. A partial list shows the different support opportunities for legitimate service can appeal to different believers as they advance. Not all Christian service is alike, witnessing to unbelievers. A responsibility of every believer in his ambassadorship in the course of performing all other categories of Christian service. Work in the local church involves many kinds of services. Work in Christian service organizations, foreign missionary services, 
work hardened by the laws of demand establishment such as military or government service, service to the needy of the community, specialized functions such as working with youth or in handicapped or volunteering in a hospital, the function of one spiritual gift which will be mentioned separately in the church age believers' personal assets. Dear brethren, the good of intrinsic value which we have to walk is of more great essential than just we think we are walking the Christian service. Our Lord said in Psalms 32, 8, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with my eye. And that is what our Lord is quite responsible for the Christian's achievement in his life, provided he is in the fellowship, living in the fellowship, walking in the fellowship of Ladgar, the Holy Spirit, and yielding the fruit of the fellowship there can never be any other thing for us to learn from a great lesson of 1 john 2 8 which teaches to us what a great importance it is that when apostle john writes to us the greatest mandate he said once again i'm writing a new command a new means kainos qualitatively new not neos new of time of existence but it is qualitatively new kainos i'm writing to you which is the true that is what which cannot lie which doesn't know what is lies which is true in him that is our christ and in you that the darkness is passing away so that you should know that the darkness is passing away darkness is consequences of sin when we miss the mark unhappiness is produced and that is what consequences of sin but this darkness has been removed out because now we have been given already the light shining upon us already means which is existing whether though people do not notice it or notice it or not already which is in force therefore this darkness is departed and the light the true one which is absolutely genuine one is being already appearing for us therefore dear brethren we the christian believers we should be very much available to the point of understanding of the fact which our lord stands written that he is responsible the god who has begun a good work in you it is he who is going to take it to the point of end because he is responsible for the christian's achievements in his life in a school blessings for time as well as for eternity but the only thing what the believer should do his volition has been required his volition to stay positive for the word of the lord has been required his volition for bible doctrine has been required and that is what you and i should learn dear brethren if it is not for that point then we are going to lose it so think over these issues as we shall continue in the next step father we are grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship with through the word help us to establish in the intrinsic of good value of work that you have done already in eternity past so that we are being ordained to walk in them so that lord jesus christ might be glorified only when we are in union with christ that is what after believing in the lord and savior jesus christ and the power of lord god the holy spirit to enlighten us more in deep to understand thy word more accurately and to handle it more accurately because already the new mandate which you have given for us the kainos of percept or direction which are given to us the precept which have given to us is to walk in them as you already ordained in them and that walking is in the light in the truth in thy word help us to stabilize in these things for we ask it in christ's name father amen